It's Linda with CreativePLR.com and today continuing on with our coloring page theme I want to show you how to make a coloring page actually a coloring by number page in AutoP. We're going to use Pixabay right now. I'm looking for an image. I want a photo and I'm looking for a cartoon. I put in cartoon animal at the zoo and I either want a photo or I want an illustration and I picked an illustration. You can pick a photo if you like. My concern with the photo, for instance, this one, there's too many ranges of colors. So it's going to make it a little more difficult, like this one would be with a gradient. So I'm looking for something simple. And if you're, the child is younger that you're doing coloring pages for, you do want a simpler image. The older the child gets, you can do something a little more evolved, like a row of monkeys. So I'm going to use this, this cat and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to download at 1920 pixels by 2342. And it's going to save on my desktop. Now that I've saved it and I liked this one because it has a black outline all the way around. That's going to help as well. I'm going to go over to photo P. I'm just going to say open from computer and I'm looking for my little cat. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure this layer is highlighted, and it is. And I want to go up to where it says image, and I want to say uh, image vectorize bitmap. And you'll notice when it does that, it opens one over here. This is our original image on the left-hand side. And the image that we're going to make changes to is on the right-hand side. And when I did that, it opens up a new menu at the top. Now, I don't know how many colors there are. There's two colors of this peach. That's two, three, four, five, uh, seven, maybe eight colors. And so I'm going to change that from 20 to 8. Keep in mind, if you're doing it for younger children, you don't want to have 100 colors in there. That's going to be overwhelming for them. I'm going to reduce noise. Noise is like shadows or extra marks or strokes outside of the image that you want to work with. So I'm going to click that. And today my mouse is not clicking really well, but it'll catch up. Uh, even though this looks like a cartoon, I want to click photo. I want to click on coloring book. I want to skip this box here, but there's a pull down box here. And I want to go to that, click stroke and labels, and I want to unclick the fill. And then if this box says merged colors, I want to click OK. And then I want to go to the adjustment layer because it's really hard to tell what I'm doing here because uh, it's on a transparent background and it's very faint. I want to go to this button down here where the adjustment layer is, and I want to go up and I want to go to color fill, and I want to go to white and say OK. And it's given me a white background. It doesn't look like it's a background because I just have to pull it down. And now the next thing I'm almost done with this part, but the next thing I want to do is I want to go over and I want to click that adjustment layer again, but I want to make sure the stroke is highlighted because that's the outlines of all the coloring. And I want to go to that page again, not my date. And I want to go to exposure. I only want to touch this bottom button, gamma corrections. I want to move it clear over and that gives me a darker line. If I want to change the line a little bit. I can close the box and then I want to download it. I want to down export as a JPEG and you can see up close what it looks like when you get up close to it. And it has the numbers in there to color. So, I want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then I'm going to go over to my friend Canva. I have an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet here. You notice I didn't worry about the size of the image that I was downloading. I didn't worry about the size in Photo P because I can always scale it down in Canva to the size that I need it to be. Whatever dimensions you want to work with, if you're in A4, work with that, or if you're in a smaller. Now, you'll notice that I have this little, it looks like a white rectangle. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to upload that image of my keycat.
And I'm going to put it up here. And I had eight colors. And I want to leave a little bit of a margin here. And let's see. I can move this down a little bit so I can get my cat, more of my cat. And then I can center it. Now it's centered. The only problem that I have is if you're going to sell coloring pages and somebody prints it out, this is not going to help very much. So that's why I made my, that rectangle, and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to position that rectangle to the front. That is all covered up now. And I spoke too soon. Almost all covered up. And it's not going to affect anything. Now, it's your choice how you do this. What I like to do on coloring pages, I like to leave the boxes empty and the child can come along or the parent that may be working with them and say, okay, what color do you want one to be? And they say, well, I want it white. And they go, okay, let's just leave this one white. What color do you want two to be? I want it to be green. So you would put a, a green Crayola mark in here. What color do you want three to be? I want it to be orange. You would put an orange in there. And so the child would know how to do that. So that's how I like to make coloring pages. There are ways you could actually tell them what colors to make this. Instead of putting a number, you could put blue. Two is white. Three is black. Four is gray. Light gray. Five is dark gray. Six is uh, peach. Seven's light peach. Eight is, I forgot what other color we had in there. Um, maybe tan. And so you could actually type in the words on there. But I le like leaving the boxes so the child can make something original and creative. And so I hope this was helpful and you can start making coloring pages using Canva and make these. You can just add a page and make more. You're using uh, items that you got off Pixabay, which you can use them for commercial purposes. So you can sell them. And Photopea, as we know, is free as well. And so free way to make coloring pages. Until next time, keep creating.